Now, now I'd like to welcome, we have got the Director of Health Sciences First Year, we have got Joe Kerbin, Associate Professor Joe Kerbin with us, and we also have a student from pharmacy, Isabella McLaughlin. So welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Kia ora. Yeah, kia ora. And uh, tell us, can we start with you, Joe, please? Tell us a little bit about Health Sciences First Year. It's a very popular programme. Great. So Health Sciences First Year is really a gateway programme to our professional uh, health science courses. So things like medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, radiation technology, oral health, there's many, many different pathways that you can go to as well. And also for students who are interested in the health sciences in general, so thinking about biomedical sciences or health science degrees. Wonderful, thank you very much. Um, Isabella, can I ask, ask you next, what's it like being a health sci first year student? Um, I think you can expect that it is going to be a hard year. You know, you're being thrown into a deep end. Um, you can, most, I'd say, majority of students are coming straight from high school, so it's a lot different. You know, you're probably living, a, living away from home, you're living in a hall, um, lots of different social events going on, as well as trying to juggle all your studies. And, you know, it's four papers in the first semester, so it is a big step up, and I'd say it's a lot different from high school, especially with the studying uh, techniques as well. So looking back on your experience, mm -hmm. you, you were well supported doing Health Sci first year? Yes, of course. Um, so I was in one of the halls in Otago, and the halls offer great support. They offer tutoring, um, even the course coordinators as well. If you're struggling with certain areas, you can always go in and talk to lecturers if you make the time. Um, there is tutors um, being run through the pass papers as well, so the uni offers a great support system for students. Wonderful, thank you. Jo, um, back to you. I wonder, um, not every student who does Health Sci First Year will want to or will be able to do a professional programme. What else can Health Sci First Year lead on to? So, as I mentioned earlier, they can go into um, health sciences in general. So there's biomedical science uh, degrees, but there's also many, many different health science programmes that actually teach into the Health Science First Year programme. And so I think one way I look at this programme is it's a bit of a smorgasbord of different, um, different um, aspects of biomedical science. And so you can learn about things like neuroscience or immunology, you can learn about biochemistry, as well as chemistry and physics. So mm -hmm. you get a really nice perspective of the different sciences. And now even we have a, a little bit of humanities in, in the course as well. So students get this real, really nice taste of many, many different um, aspects of health sciences and more broadly speaking sciences and even now in the arts mm. and so there's a lot of directions that you can take from that, that base. Fantastic, thank you. Actually I was uh, talking today with a student who's doing the population health paper, his name's AJ um, and he was saying how exciting he was to be doing this because with this world of COVID it's more relevant than ever so he was really buzzing about that and it was just lovely to, to have a word with him um, earlier today. Isabella can we go back to you for a second now oh, and yes. can we say uh, what advice would you have for Health Sci First Year students coming in next year? Um, I think it would be to keep your mind open to the opportunities that the health science course can lead to. Like Joe said, there are a lot, other, a lot of other options that can be taken um, from the health sciences program. There's a lot of different pathways you can go. I think another good piece of advice is to set your own goals. So set personal goals for yourself. You know, you don't want to be setting goals that your roommate or your next door neighbour has in the hall. It's really important that you set ones that are going to make you happy and are going to help you succeed in your university career. Wonderful. Thank you. Good advice. Joe. I know that one aspect uh, of the health sciences program is UCAT. Um, can you tell us a sentence or two about that please to provide information? Sure. So UCAT I think probably um, a lot of students hear about it and are a little bit nervous about it. It's the University Clinical Aptitudes Test and it's basically testing, um, it, it's, a, it's a test that gets used to measure certain qualities in people who are going into clinical programs and so that would be medicine and dentistry for example and um, it, it looks at reasoning, it looks at making judgments and it looks at making, learning how to make decisions and you can't study for it but you can prepare for it and it's held outside of the university and so students get the opportunity to get some practice with that. It's not as terrifying as, as what it may appear That's, to be. I like hearing the fact that it's not <laughs> terrifying because you know, sometimes <laughs> out in the community we do hear how scary it is. So Jo, what would be your best advice for students coming into Health Sci First Year next year? As a uh, my best advice would be to be organised, bring your A game, but also try and be balanced. And so in get some downtime, enjoy the social aspects of being in a residential college and try and stay on top of your material. So engage whenever you've got the opportunity to engage. Wonderful. Thank you so much indeed. So 
If you have further questions about Health Sci First Year, join in the virtual chat.